wird so leicht. Wird schon lecker. Ciao, 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 ciao. The Vinyas, back to see the Vinyas, Bobber. Where are you, Bobber? I think we go with my car, it's better. Yes. Okay. Well, okay. Arena and we have around the, uh, the rocks, the volcanic rocks, and so also the soil is 100% volcanic. Right. We don't have, we don't have here uh, calcareous influence. Nothing. Yeah. Only silica. Mineral. Mineral. Yes. Exactly. That's what really gives yep. the mineral flavor. Right? That's that's the soil. It's yeah. the main the main thing here. That's when you pick up the dirt. Different. To, and you go like this, you can see all the little specks of the... So that's the reason why, why Talano takes his own appellation. But Talano is not only the name of the village, of the winery, it's also the name of the appellation. Amazing. How do you pick the grapes? I mean, do you use machines? I mean, no, like no, no machines. No. So you it's use impossible. people that have cables on them yeah. or something? Like, get people secured or is it just, they're just walking In like... In some vineyards, yes, but uh, there we don't can go, but you don't can... You don't have a, a street what's going there. Right. So here are all the vineyards when you can see. Wow. You don't see everyone, but uh, someone it's a little bit close in the forest and... Uh, wow, this is crazy. Wow, this is insane. Wow, this is steep. But here's the papa now. Driven this road a few times. Just a couple. <laughs> what? I said you've driven this road yes. a couple times. <laughs> oh, sure. Wow. Yeah. That's insane, Klaus. That's, That's the hang bridge. The little Golden Gate. <laughs> the little Golden Gate Bridge. I mean, it actually shakes when you jump on it. Can you believe that? You scared me. Stop. <laughs> You can hear the stream underneath. I want to swim in a in a fume, in a cream, in a river here in Alto Adige. River! So now we walk a little bit. Yeah, let's walk. YouTube, go, go. <laughs> so this is free here, basically, right? Yes. El, yeah, yeah. El, el libro. Yeah, yeah. Come take it. You know, like, gratis. <laughs> you want to climb, Vincenzo? Here you go. Okay. My climbing not <laughs> This is a steep hill, Dad. So this are. <laughs> you need to know. For Pino Bianco, we produce Pino Bianco in the hills, in the mountains, 2,400 feet. And this, uh, but the best, best part, it's here. Really? It's in a small, in a small range between 1,500, 1,600 feet and 2,000 feet. Right. That's Grand Cru That's for Pino way. Bianco by Tarlano. Yeah. And now we are here. That's for example, ah. Uh, this is all Pinot Bianco? That's all Pinot Bianco, yes. Wow. How old are these vines? They look old. Yes, yes. This, uh, it depends, but uh, like that, someone like is, is. It's younger, but uh, by, by these are 40, 45 years old. Wow. And, uh, and uh, you need old vines, you need the right exposition. The, thing, the second thing is the climate. We have here very warm days and after after the sunset starting to coming down the cool winds from from north, from north. Yeah. it's amazing and it's so perfect for grapes perfect yeah. for grapes yeah. we grow also a little bit other varieties on this altitude but mostly pinot bianco pinot noir is growing also well in this area uh, in sure. this altitude generally the soil is always the same lightly volcanic soil and um, in many in, in, in different years you you need you need a little bit irrigation but in the last five years we don't need it no. really? 
but some some years was uh, normally dry. dry like like in Sicily like we have 500 600 millimeters and that's not not so right. much the last years we have more storms we have more rain you know of course. Uh, crazy yes. crazy climate in the moment yeah. global warming these look like olive I mean they're like olive trees to me you know every time I look at them you know it reminds me of you know reminds me of you know the olive trees down in Puglia you know yeah. just they're so wild looking mangled and scary and you, you can just, see yeah. the part what's staying here we cut and also there you can see it yeah, by hand the people go down wow, to cut ev every 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 grape what by hand to, but that's here we produce maybe the best Pinot Bianco in the world of course I know. this part what is closer to the trees has a better concentration uh, uh, more complex this part especially when you have a long one when this part it's 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 more acidity very lightly the second thing is when you cut it the bunch has more space right so it's also better for uh, for uh, growth yeah. yes and and another thing is you you reduce the quantity right but you you need not too much quantity more so you can have more complexity yeah. Yeah. but yeah. but after we don't like too much alcohol we look for perfect ripeness so when when it's a perfect ripeness it's in balance we don't look for over ripeness we don't want too much we want perfect ripeness but it's also the reason for aging when you have a perfect balance mm -hmm. so you have a great great balance also in the wines and also a better aging potential right. when it's overripe sorry okay. when it's overripe many times uh, you have the ph is too high yeah. too less acidity Everything the wines are can't aged and also are maybe in the first year fantastic but after a few after years that. not really interesting right. have you had to make adjustments uh, you know for for you know the extra heat of you know global warming because that's going to create more sugar correct i mean more heat for a longer period of time it's one reason it's one reason so you have to maybe shorten the growing season sometimes or you know, how do you many people think the only reason for high alcohol is the global warming that's not my opinion not correct today you need to know after especially when you look in the 90s in the middle of 90s end of 90s all important areas start to reduce the quantities yeah. Bordeaux make completely change completely style Piemont in this yeah. time yeah. and everyone start also Burgundy starts to reduce the quantity also when you reduce the quantity in for for this one uh, normally you have maybe uh, two kilos or, or one and a half and then you have 800 grams so absolutely you go higher with the sugar yeah. the second thing is the better climate the warmer climate yeah. what absolutely helps to going on in the in the in the in the, sure. in the harvesting that's that's also a reason but for me the main my i think the the a big influence is also that everyone start to make wines with more, more concentration. Yes, yes, yes. That's for me also one of the main reasons. I could just hang out up here. Okay, so we go to the next vineyard. So this is a little bit Schiara for what the grower used for his own production. My leader hosen. You didn't get me any leader hosen? You have leader hosen. Where's your leader hosen? So we are wow. also very important for us to have many different kinds of plants yeah, in the, in the yeah, yeah. not only so for so this. Do you throw seeds for this? Or? Here not, but we we keep the grass very high, right. so you have the flavors and then the seeds. Right, of course. But when you cut it too early, you start to have a, not a complex, really, biologic diversity in the vineyards. Wow. 
And now I want, I want to show you the, the real reason why we have this climate here. You need to walk a little bit. That's not. That's not, yeah. You find here a lot of chestnuts. Oh my god. Look how beautiful this tree is. Yeah. These are 9,000 feet high. And this protects us totally for the climate in the north. Right. So, see, when we look here, it's about uh, in, in close is Austria, it's 100 kilometers here in Switzerland. But this. Right. This, this mountain block, it's a big, big wall that protect us and made this climate so different. And so perfect it's warm, doing, it's yeah. warm, it's warm, but in the same way, we have the altitude, we have the mountains, what are refreshing with the cool airs what coming down from the high mountains and, and, uh, Makes sense. and they absolutely are our, our, our key for this climate in Antoine. So when it's harvest time, how long does it take to harvest all the grapes and how many people are involved? That's, that's uh, the harvest time here, it's extremely complex. We need six See. weeks for the harvest time. So we start in the middle of September, finish end of October. Really? Sometimes earlier, or sometimes we start in the first of September. And, and but we have these different yeah, levels of altitude and that's make this so complicated. And, uh, Every, every, I'm involved uh, in the technical side. Right. 30 people, no? Then 30. in the, yeah, then, then in, the, in the vineyards, it's, it's, uh, depends how, how fast, how it's the weather. Yeah. When you have a very small wi time window for picking the grapes, so you need more people. When you have good weather, you can go right. in a little bit sure. slower. But generally, it's, it's, it's a very important time also to, to pick every bunch on the right time. Right. That's the that's the complex situation here. But you have dip, different ripeness everywhere. Sure. In the mountains, in the hills, of course. and also different varieties. Like so, more like hundred people. I mean, how many hmm? people? How many people in the vineyard? It's 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 some days 100, 150, really? something. Yeah. 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 And it's easy to find these people, you know, to work. Or? No, that's it's specially families made this by by yeah. own. By really? own. Yes, yes. So everybody contributes. Yes, yes, yes. Parents, everyone won't come. No? Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. They want to have a, a yeah. free lunch, yes. but they want to go to. <laughs> Up in the middle of the mountain, mountain men. He forgot the leader hose in that hole. He's going to give also, it to me. Also. This big skin belt. I love the belt. I love when I'm underneath chestnuts, man. When I feel the power of nuts. You know, there's nothing like being underneath a set of nuts.